Hello, hello, and welcome, you guys. This is your girl, Jazzy Jazz, with Timeless Self, and I'm here to continue the part two of the um, GOB add-ons that uh, I posted um, earlier on. And so basically today, I'm going to be going over the um, painting that I did yesterday and basically going to be filling these white lines in with black so that they can match the um, the original artwork that I'm going to be adding these onto. And um, we'll take it from there. So since this is going to be a majority of just me like painting, um, most of this will be uh, a really just kind of like quick um, video to just show the work and the progress and we'll pause in between if there's any kind of commentary that I want to add. Um, one of the things that um, I realized is in my first part there's a lot of chit chatting and so the video was really really long and so I'm just trying to make these really quick and simple not too much but um, we'll see how it goes. I'm still in in my learning phase of how to edit things and how to you know just put videos together because I've never tried this this is kind of coming out of my comfort zone and so hopefully you guys enjoy this and we're gonna go ahead and continue these and uh, yeah we'll get to it so really quick um, I'll just go over the the stuff I'll be using today to get this portion done all right so we'll be right back all right so before I start um, so today the color we're gonna be using is Mars black all right so this is artist loft paint um i basically get get this at michael's uh you can also buy them on amazon i know that they have they have them on amazon um i'll be using an angular brush um to kind of do the um the edges okay and i'll be using a big flat brush to uh fill in the black in between all right so this is a bit tedious and so that's one of the reasons why this video is going to be mostly just me kind of like painting um and uh, as i mentioned before if there's something i want to add i'll go ahead and add it in but most of this is going to be muted and we'll figure out like some music to put in <laughs> so um i'm obviously going to do one at a time so we're going to get one out of the way and then We'll get back to it when we get to it. All right, so this is part two. Part two, so let me get let me get this over here. Let me get my black out. So black, Mars black. I have my water, as I've mentioned before, in a cup here on the side. Let me make sure I don't show that because I'm using a Kona ice cup. You know, just t stuff you find around the kitchen that you don't use on a daily basis. You could use a plastic cup or, uh, you know, anything. So I, I put some water in there so that I can wet my brush and um, keep the colors, you know, flowing. Um, remember, acrylic paint does tend to dry pretty fast. So, yeah, I'm going to start off by basically um, doing the edges. And this is going to be tedious so i'm going to use a small brush like i said uh, this is a protege number 10 551 angular brush i don't know where the heck i got this brush from all i know is i have it in my supplies so i can't necessarily tell you um i also have like a bookmark a paper bookmark here in case i need it for the edges but um usually when you do it with a small angular brush flat brush you can actually um avoid having to use anything like this you know the only tricky part is then you know kind of like having to wipe off the sides so that when you when you do the edges you don't get the other color on 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 these colors right okay so i think you get it um and then we'll take it from there okay i've got some ideas on how i'm going to be finishing these pieces um but first we're going to go ahead and fill in all of these white spaces with the black Mars black color and then we will be back for the rest of it okay all right so I'm gonna go ahead and mute this so we can um we can get started
All right, so we're done outlining the first canvas and I'm obviously going to save you guys the, um, the stress of <laughs> seeing a whole another one getting outlined. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna continue working on this one. We're gonna go ahead and fill it in now that we've got the outlines. Um, as you can see, you know, the lines don't look so straight. So I always go over it afterwards and straighten out lines if needed, if it's noticeable enough. Um, sometimes, you know, it's not noticeable enough to the naked eye that you need to go back and like really get really perfect on certain things. I honestly know that there is beauty and imperfection. So um, there goes the outline. Now we're going to go ahead and go in and fill it in.
So, all right, we got the first, <laughs> the first canvas done, at least with the first layer of the black borders in between. So you see, I just, I really like the way that that came out so much better. I'm trying to get this at a good angle for you guys. Um, I like it much better other than the white, um, the white spaces. Um, so that's the first the first layer and basically I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do the other one and then I'll come back and then you know we'll we'll continue it from there all right all right so I just finished doing the second layer of black um, on the borders right so now what I'm gonna do is um, there there are some spots where there's still like a little bit of white um from the canvas so i'm just gonna kind of like go through it really quick and just cover up those little pieces with a smaller um with a smaller brush and i have to go back and fix some errors because you know i was eating shit so like over here <laughs> i got even more on the pink and i'm like no 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 so i'm gonna have to do a couple of touch-ups and um that's cool I mean, this is looking pretty damn good. I'm happy with the results so far. And then, you know, I'll get into the um, final, 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 final stage of what I want to do with these. So basically just trying to fix some oops. Like I said, it's black paint, so it's not gonna cover it entirely. But it's enough that like when you're looking at the picture, you're not going to really pick it up unless you're like really, like really looking at it. You know what I'm saying? So that's the whole point. Okay. All right. Cool. There. Okay. Bam. Like you can't even tell. Or at least not to the naked eye. <laughs> Like, if you gotta be looking at it, like, looking at it, like, a lot to really catch that. That oops. Okay. Alright, so I think this one's good. This one's good. We already got the, the two layers of black on that. Oh, we're gonna finish off in a little bit. Um, but yeah, I gotta get the second layer of the black border on the other one. Um, make sure I don't need any edits. And then we will get to the final stages of this piece uh, of these uh, GOB add-ons. All right. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and um, I'll pause and then I'll be back with the rest, you guys. Hoping you're enjoying this so far.
So that is it, that is it. These canvases are done for the most part. So um, here goes one and here goes number two. The last bits that are needed to be done are basically the, um, the sides, which will be black and the varnish. So as you can see what I tried, what I tried to do here, which I don't know if I'm successful, is to show you the piece that it'll be complementing so these guys will be going on the sides of that <laughs> of that painting up on the wall um that's the gob um painting and then these are going to go on the side to complement them so basically last steps here will be to um, paint the sides which i will i'm going to let these dry overnight and then we need to varnish them, to finish them, to seal them. And varnishing them would require them to sit out and dry for at least a week or two weeks, depending on how thick the layers are of paint. Um, so I think a week or maybe three days would suffice since I didn't use a lot of paint on these paintings. Um, but if you, can, if you can see, there's kind of like a light that reflects <laughs> off of the painting up there and that's because it was varnished with a high gloss finish so there are uh, I think like three different types there is a matte a semi gloss and a gloss varnish and the one that I have is from Liquitex and so I use a gloss varnish because I like the glossy look and gloss varnishes or varnishes in general are um, meant to seal and protect your paintings so as you can see when these dry they're a bit um, matte and if you leave them like that over time acrylic paints tend to either crack or they can chip if you if you let's say hit something against the canvas you can mess up your painting so if you want to keep a painting intact or you want it to last, you want to go ahead and you want to varnish them when you're done with them. But you do need to allow them to dry for about 72 to two weeks, depending, 72 hours to two weeks, depending on how many layers and how much paint you use, okay? And this is a common practice um, for folks who do painting uh, professionally. Uh, if you want to gift someone a painting, I would suggest that you also varnish it before you gift it to them so that it lasts longer. It also helps um, not only preserve, but it makes it a lot easier to dust off your paintings. Now, um, acrylics are usually uh, very susceptible to getting dirty or like really dusty. I don't know what it is about them, but they just do. So you want to varnish them so that it makes it easier for you to clean them on your clean days if you want to. Um, and it just, it just helps protect it, period. That's it. <laughs> and makes it last a lot longer and it gives it a nice finishing touch. So um, once these are done, all done i'm gonna be sure to post a follow-up video of the complete complete picture of the gob parts and the add-ons because these are basically add-ons to that one uh it's a little different but i tried to go as much with the um hexagon theme as possible and we will see how it looks at the end of the day i hope that you guys enjoyed this video um you know again i am learning the ropes of editing and you know just trying to shorten the videos this was actually a two hour and a half long video and i chopped it up enough that you wouldn't have to sit here and go through so much so hopefully you enjoyed and it provides some inspiration for you to do some of your own artwork and display it in your home or gift it to other people all right i love you guys please like share and subscribe and look out for more of the creative self series bye